Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. Now you can get a free sneak peek into Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery membership program. The details are in the description box below this video. In this video, you will learn how to create beautiful widescreen photo slideshows in PowerPoint. The beautiful widescreen photo slideshows that you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, the photos are in widescreen. They cover the entire slide end to end. And the slideshow seems to happen all on its own. It's a beautiful effect to learn. And in this video, I'll show you how to create this effect from scratch. Now, when it comes to creating photo albums, there is already a ready-made option available in PowerPoint. But that option is not really ideal because the option allows you to create these kind of slideshows but in 4 is to 3 format. Let me show you where the option is and what is the problem with that option. Let us go to insert and then you go to photo album option. You go to new photo album. You say insert picture from, go to file or disk and then you can pick up your own photos. Let me say I'm going to pick up this and this and I'm going to say insert. You can have as many photos as you want in the photo album. And then you can see that the option available is only in 4 is to 3. You can see the option here as well. And even if you say fit to slide, it doesn't matter because you will have those ugly black bands on either side of the photo. And that is because this particular option allows you only to create 4 is to 3 option. I'm just going to create this particular uh, photo album for uh, the say for the sake of creating it I'm going to say create and this is the way it creates the first slide might look like it is uh, created end to end but then when you go to the next one you can see that there are these black bands on the right hand side and this is how it is it's it's a very ugly way to show your photos I'm going to close this and I'm going to say don't save now if you see on the other hand this particular one has complete end-to-end -end pictures that make this slideshow so much better. Now the first step in creating these kind of widescreen photo slideshows is you need to know how to crop your photos so that they cover end-to-end. -end. Unfortunately, there is no quick method like the way that you see in the photo album method to create your photo slideshow. You need to do it manually one slide after another but if you know how to crop a particular photo in 16 is to 9 orientation, it's not going to take too much time for you to create this beautiful slideshow. Because at the end, what you get is uh, a result worth showcasing. I'm going to insert a new slide now, and I'm going to show you how to crop a photo so that it covers the entire slide end to end. I'm going to go to insert, and let me insert a picture and let us take the picture that I want to showcase is say something like this one and I'm going to say insert and you can see that it is not really covering end to end. To do that you select the picture, you go to the crop option and it is in the format option here in picture tools. Go down and you say aspect ratio and the aspect ratio you want to choose is 16 is to 9 and as soon as you click on that you can see that the picture is automatically cropped to 16 is to 9 orientation by PowerPoint. You click outside and then you move the picture so that it corresponds with the top left corner of the slide. Then you click and drag from the corner so that it covers the entire slide. And now when you go to slideshow mode, you can see that there is no gap whatsoever on the sides and the picture covers the entire slide end to end. So that is the first step you need to know. And I have done so for all the other photos you can see here. And I'm going to uh, remove this particular uh, slide. And here I have all the photos in 16 is to 9 format. The next thing I have done is to add transition. So you go to a slide and then you go to transitions option and you choose one of the transitions. The next thing I'm going to do is to go here and choose the option to advance the slide after a certain time. So in this case, I have chosen to have the transition happen after every two seconds. 
Now that gives enough time for the audience to take a look at the picture and at the same time it is fast enough to keep the slides moving. So that is what I have done here. You can always make the entire slideshow go a lot slower by having say around three, three seconds or four seconds um, transition. So once you've got this one done, you can apply this one which is called as apply to all. When you say apply to all, all the slides in your slideshow are going to be uh, having the same transition, the fade transition and all of them are going to have transition after two seconds. So that is all and once you do so, when you go to the slideshow mode, you can see that the transition happens all by itself and all the pictures are beautifully laid out. I hope you really liked this beautiful and very useful technique in PowerPoint. Hey, are you looking for an easy to follow, comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online? Do you want to learn how to create beautiful picture slides like this, chart slides like this, infographics like this, 3D graphics like this, or in general beautiful slides like this, this, or this, then please join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. It is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You get instant access to more than 650 step-by-step -step video tutorials, more than 225 text-based lessons, and more than 400 downloadable files the moment you join Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. You can sign up for a free sneak peek into the program right away. Please click here to watch a few of the premium videos from the program for free right now. I'll see you inside the program.